Hello my friends, welcome back to the channel and welcome back to my beautiful rideshare revolutionaries. It's me Geo. Y'all know the fuck it is. Uh probably the most well-known YouTuber in the gig economy that's actually out there fighting the fight. <laughs> uh during during the pandemic. So I'm gonna pull up a couple resources right now to help clarify this. And this does not go for every single state or city or whatever. Um, your local laws might overwrite this. I, you know, it just like for example, uh, I've got members in my group chat that are from New Jersey, and they don't know if what's going on in New York City applies to them. But I'm gonna talk about a couple different things, like a couple emails I've gotten and this. So. Uh, this came out yesterday. TLC vehicles are essential services. For hire yellow taxi, green taxi, FHV, paratransit, and commuter, commuter van service have been designated as essential services, which I'll get to that in a second, and are exempt from restrictions imposed by the governor's, by the governor's March 20th, 2020 executive order. You may continue driving for hire during this period. TLC will continue to provide regular updates on the state of emergency, as well as resources available to drivers and all TLC licenses. So there you go. Uber, Lyft, um, I know Juno's not there anymore. Via, taxi, shuttle services are all essential services under, you know, protected uh, and are, are exempt from the governor's order. Hold on one second. Let me get some, get some of this lotion really quick. I will say this hand sanitizer that DoorDash gave me smells really nice. It's really pleasant smelling. Okay. Oh yeah. And the reason I'm up, I woke up at seven o'clock today and I turned on Amazon and I got my first uh, delivery or whatever. Uh, but the problem is they're not open yet. So I got to wait a little, bit, a little bit until they open. So that's what I'm going to knock out this video. Uh, that's not what I wanted. So... I got this email from two different people yesterday. Uh, transportation systems sector, Department of Homeland Security and Department of Transportation are designated as the co-sector specific agencies for the transportation system sector. The nation's transportation system quickly, safely, and securely moves people and goods through the country and overseas. Uh, transportation system sector is the seven key subsectors. Highway motor carrier, it's not us. Why did I zoom in on that? Mass transit and passenger rail includes terminals, operational systems, and supporting infrastructure for passenger services by transit buses, trolley buses, monorail, heavy rail, also known as subways or metros, light rail, passenger, passenger rail, and van pool slash rideshare. Public transportation and passenger rail operations provide provided an estimated 10.8 billion passenger trips in 2014. So that's another thing that's exempt, that's protected even during a, you know, shelter in place order. We are allowed to do that. Um, and that's nationally. That's that's uh, on the CISA.gov website, which you know is national. So um, yeah, essential. it's pretty much saying that ride share is an essential service around the country. Yeah. Okay, and then let's go to Okay. Uh, okay. This was this came out yesterday, I believe, after the announcement of. Let's go all the way back. After the announcement on the twentieth. So, after the announcement of the stay at home order that was on Friday, this article came out. Grabbing takeout, ordering an Uber, dropping off dry cleaning are also are still permitted. The order even allows liquor stores and recreational cannabis dispensaries to remain open for business should the second week of impromptu homeschooling create an essential need. Pritzko's orders include a long list of vital occupations that can stand the job. Healthcare workers, grocery employees, funeral home employees, pharmacists, hardware store employees, plumbers, electricians, daycare providers, bank tellers. And roles that are essential to supply chain, police, firefighters, and paramedics can also keep working. Um, so there you go. So that's telling me as of right now, and this is, like I said, I'm only speaking for 
New York and Illinois, like I said, if your state shuts down, you may very well not be allowed to carry out rideshare services and you may very well not be allowed to carry out food delivery and gig work. But at least for Illinois and um, for New York, we are protected. We are, like I said, I'm not gonna go ahead and say we are essential employees, but we are performing essential services. Okay, I'm gonna, I guess I have to go on record and say that. Um, so yeah, guys, um, if you, if you, if you don't feel the need to get out there and do any kind of gig work, stay home. If you're gonna get out there and do gig work, I would highly advise against doing rideshare. Um, right now, I mean, for, for the for the little bit I'm doing on different gigs like Postmates and DoorDash and Amazon and hopefully Instacart soon and TaskRabbit, I'm staying like I'm not making what I used to make, but if that's if that's what it's gonna be for the next, you know, for the foreseeable future, then I'll have to settle on making twelve to fifteen hundred bucks a week, which I can live with considering the fact that I won't be driving any people around. Um, but for me, honestly, the, the, the big thing for me is just staying busy, trying to make money. Um, I don't, you know, I know that we're going to be exempt from like certain bills and we're going to be exempt, you know, your, your landlords and everything are going are gonna to kind of give you a free pass on rent for a while. Um, I don't, that's not how I want to do things. I don't want to fall behind. That's not... I've, I, I don't think I've been late for a bill in like, <laughs> fuck. I remember I missed a car payment once just because I was a fucking dumbass and that was like seven years ago. Um, no, maybe, maybe like five years ago. That's just because I completely forgot about it. Um, see, I'm, I, I do not like missing payments. I don't like missing bills. I want to come out of the situation better than how I came in. And that means staying current on everything like that. So, and that's, that's just, I'm not telling you guys, I'm not trying to shame you guys and saying if, if you, if you have that kind of, um, you know, if you, if you have the, the resources available to where you can stay home, stay home. No one's going to fucking tell you nothing. Everyone's staying home. Um, but if you want to get out there and hustle, you want to get out there and do your thing. I, I sincerely hope you're 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 staying as safe as possible. You're gonna keep your your you know you're gonna keep your health as your number one priority. And yeah, that's right now the, the <laughs> they always say health is wealth. Right now that's more true than anything. So all right guys, and my Amazon delivery is calling me right now. So I'll talk to you guys next time. Everyone please stay safe, stay driven, stay classy. I'll talk to you next time. Bye bye.